Today I wanna to share some ways to improve your focus. And this is not gonna just be your average ChatGPT or Google list. These are things that I do pretty much every single day on a routine basis that I use to improve my focus. And I thought it'd be worthwhile to share with you in this video. I'll be covering some quick tips as well as some longer habits and practices. And this is important because I want you to have some wins as soon as you click off this video. But it is important to recognize that focus and concentration are a muscle and you have to continually work towards improving it. So I wanted to include both in this video to help you get maximum results. Before we get started, I do wanna mention that we will be running a seven day improve your focus challenge in my private group starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. Now that we've covered that, let's dive in. When I'm about to embark on a very difficult task that requires concentration, I turn my phone on airplane mode. This includes writing a script for a YouTube video or filming it, or when I'm learning or reading, I'll put my phone on airplane mode so that no one can get to me. If somebody calls you, messages you, or you get a notification in the middle of the night, that's going to interrupt your sleep cycle, and you need good sleep in order to focus and concentrate the next day. That's why it's important for me to put my phone on airplane mode while I'm doing an important task and also when I'm sleeping in order to maximize my concentration and focus. Another precaution I take with my phone is I put it into a different room, or better yet, the car. If you're a dopamine monkey like me, then it's so important to follow this principle, to get your phone out of sight when you're doing important things because you have this urge, this feeling to check your notifications. Even when it's on airplane mode, you might just push yourself to unlock airplane mode and check. So I get rid of that by putting it into another room or even in the car. Another really big thing that I do every single day is I carry a pen and paper. And this is a cool like leather, leather pad and there's this little cute little pen that comes with it. I can share a link in the description, but you don't have to get the exact same one, it's just the idea. And in there is an empty paper. And you can see I have like stray notes that I've been taking over time. And whenever I have a thought, I write it down. I have ADHD, so like whenever I have a thought, it pretty much takes over my entire existence until I get rid of the thought. So I put it in here, and that tells my brain it's okay, you can think about the next thing and focus on the task at hand. Sometimes I have thoughts that could completely derail me while I'm working, but having this pen and paper has saved me numerous times. When I pair this with airplane mode and moving my phone to another room, if I have a thought I don't wanna forget, I just write it down on this piece of paper and I stay focused on the task at hand. Another hack I use when I'm about to start an important task is I set a timer. I'll use my watch, which has a timer, or I'll use my iPhone if it's in the room, or I'll even use like a Google Chrome tab. You can just search timer, or you can get a physical timer. It doesn't matter. When I set a timer, it kind of puts me in focus that during this time, I'm not going to do anything else but the thing I committed to. And there's something called the Pomodoro technique. If you're not familiar with it, you can do research. There's other videos on it where you set like a 25 minute timer and then you take five minute breaks, which is great. But depending on your level of focus, 25 minutes might be too much. You might start with 10 minutes or even five minutes. It's not about how much time, it's just saying that you're committing during this time and you're going to stay focused. During the breaks, I might use the bathroom or take a walk around the block, but I definitely try not to use my phone because that'll derail my focus and my flow. And for my last quick fix, if I find myself getting tired, I'm losing focus, my eyes are getting heavy, I'll do what I call a nappuccino. And this is how I'll do a nappuccino. I'll make myself a coffee and then I'll take a 15 minute nap. And as soon as the nap is over, I'll quickly chug the coffee. And the nap plus the coffee gives me a huge burst of energy. Now it's important not to do this or pass around like three o'clock because it could affect your sleep, but anything up to that, that's when I'll do an, a nappuccino. In fact, I did one right before filming this video. Okay, on to longer term practices or habits that could really boost your focus over time. The first of the longer term practices I recommend taking on is reading every single day. And personally, as an Orthodox Jew, I learn Talmud every day and it's challenging. First of all, it's an Aramaic. And secondly, it forces you to critically think. And I do this early in the morning. I get up at about 5, 5.45, and then I'm learning by six o'clock with other people around me. At first, it was so challenging that I could barely get through 10 minutes, but now I can go for at least an hour, which is awesome. But for you, I recommend taking on any type of reading practice, make it challenging, make it something that excites you, and do it every single day, even in small amounts. Next up, we have the habit of a mindfulness practice. And there's so many different ways to do mindfulness, but essentially they all do the same thing, which is when you get distracted, it's the art of gently bringing it back. And there's guided meditations, 
there's unguided meditations. You can take a mindful walk where you go out without technology and you just focus on nature. Some people even stare at candles for long periods of time. There's, like I said, there's so many ways to do it. You have to find the one that's right for you. And next up, from time to time, it's worthwhile to try out a challenge. And this could be a dopamine detox challenge where you get off of social media for a while and other various practices associated with it so you can reset your dopamine levels and focus for longer periods of time. Or you can do something like a seven day challenge where you try out different types of mindfulness practices and you pair that with deep work to find out which one is best for you. Shameless plug, that's my challenge. It's in the description if you're interested. For a final and bonus tip, I wanted to share something that has completely changed the game for me in terms of my focus and concentration, and it's increased my productivity probably tenfold. And that's accountability. It's a huge hack if you can get a friend to join you on a task. This could be sitting with them in a library while you're doing your own work, or even having them on a Zoom call, or being in a WhatsApp group or community, like the one I have below, another shameless plug. When you have accountability or someone next to you, it completely changes the game because you're not in it alone. And I noticed this with my saying affirmations for 10 hours challenge, people are writing in the comments that they have my challenge on while they're doing their own affirmations challenge. I'm not even live with them, but just the hack of having the YouTube video playing makes them feel like they're not alone. When you're not alone on something hard, it gives you motivation. People are doing similar things in my group where they're running meditations that are silent. The cameras are off, the mic is off, People are doing their own meditation, but just knowing you're clocked in and logged into a Zoom call with other people motivates you to do it in your own space. These are the strategies and practices that I use in my life, and I hope that at least one of them can improve your life as well. If you like this video, then please make sure to like this video so it can help the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you're not already in my private community, Affirmations for the Soul, definitely join. It's growing rapidly. Everyone's having a great time in there. It's in the link in the description. With that said, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.